Thanks for attending. And yeah, so I'm the animation director of EA's Motion Capture Studio, and I had the pleasure to work with MVI for the major part of this year. So um, for this talk, I wanted to um, share some of our collaborations and show off, help show off some of the, the results. So um, I'm going to start off with what we did in, uh, in the early stages was we did a very controlled test. And what I mean by a controlled test, we did a optical and markerless test. And what we did here, you can see um, the talent wearing the red shirt and the blue pants. Um, he's going to be captured in volumetric with eight GoPros, which what do we use for this one? But you can also see markers on top of him. So it's a one-to-one -one direct comparison where we can see the same timeline, same time code, and we can see really see the, the differing results. Something that's really important for in, in, in mocap and retargeting is to have a really, really precise um, a talent calibration, how the skeleton is calibrated, because if it's really accurate to the talent, you're going to have a much easier time retargeting. And so this is something that I want to show off right off the bat here was you can see here that there's a green skeleton popping in and out. And that green skeleton, the green skeleton is the Move AI calibrated rig. And you can see it's almost a one-to-one -one calibration with the blue rig, which is the game rig. And that one I was really impressed off the bat because it tells me that through this video-based technology, it is getting a very accurate um, calibration of the talent skeleton. And then I also wanted to mention for optical, it is the gold standard um, quality output and animation and, and mocap animation. And so that's why we want to do this. And we have really good reference so that we can give that feedback to MovieEye. Where are the areas you want to improve? Where are the areas we need to look out for? To your right, it will be the optical data and also it will be the move data. And then you can see this is agility. We wanted to see how it would look on the fast motions. And you can see like the overall posture for the, for the move data. The shoulders are a really good level. That's something that I, I personally like to look right off the bat, how is the shoulder level, because it really gives you a good sense of how the animation, it really drives that silhouette. And so that posture is really good. You can see the foot plant, it's pretty solid. Obviously, we have a big portfolio of sports games, so we wanted to see, you know, how's it gonna look for this? How's it gonna look for the other sports? And again, something that I, I'm always looking at is the overall posture. Is it holding up? Is it looking like, what the talent is doing, and, and, it, and it's, it's very, it's, I would say it's very close. Again, you can see the feet when he's jumping around, it's not skipping, it's not skipping from different spots. And then for this one, this one, the, the chair here is actually a one-to-one -one build to the actual chair. So this one, we want to show the interaction with environment props. How accurate is it? Because that's something that's really important for us when we do big, mocap shoots, we have a lot of set props. If it's, especially if it's cinematic, there's a lot of scenes. So we wanted to see how the talent and how the results and how accurate it would be. And the next one, um, for these tests, we really like using stairs because it really validates the accuracy, not only on the floor calibration, but also, especially for this one, again, a one-to-one -one 3D build of, of the prop. You can see that each step for, for here, it's really hitting it. Whether he's going sideways, whether he's, he's walking um, forward, going up. And then later on, you're going to actually see um, the talent walk up the stairs and jump on a ground plane. If you can just really take a look at when he does that. But he'll land right on the floor. And that's something that's really important for myself and a team because it shows a floor calibration. And that's something you really want that to be good before passing on to a game team. 